Today I'm going to share a black story about a man that made my childhood bearable. <laughs> this story is part of a series that we will be doing all month where I highlight phenomenal black people that have inspired me on my journey and hopefully by sharing these stories they will inspire you. Keep watching as I break down who these people are, what they've done on their extraordinary journey, and how they can influence us all to be better people. If you're on YouTube, please consider subscribing so we can continue to bring you fresh. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome and please consider subscribing. My name is Tamara. I am a corporate dropout, certified project manager, digital consultant, and full stack web developer. I create this channel to share lessons that I've learned and 15 and a half years re-engineering processes that save companies millions as a financial analyst, business analyst, and senior accountant. To learn more about me, click the link in the description. Let's get into what we have for you guys today. Gerald Lawson pioneered the gaming console with removable cartridges. Mr. Lawson was a self-taught engineer. While he did attend college, he did not finish. He was also a member of the infamous Homebrew Computer Club, the same club that featured members such as Steve Jobs. After leaving college, Mr. Lawson began working for Fairchild as a consultant. While he was there, he invented this video game console with removable cartridges, and he partnered with Fairchild to bring this to market. This amazing console that he created while at Fairchild was known as the Channel F console. At the time, there were previous consoles on the market. However, this was the only console that allowed you to remove cartridges. The other consoles came with all the games built in. As a result of this, with the previous consoles, your options were severely limited. Mr. Lawson saw this was an opportunity for greatness, so he stepped in, got to work, and got it done. What I'm saying here, folks, is Mr. Lawson single-handedly created the behemoth of the gaming industry as we all know it today. He created the model of an individual console that comes with some games, and then you are allowed to buy additional games. Take a look at this snippet from a commercial from JCPenney back in the day. Channel F, the one with all the fun. The Fairchild Video Entertainment System at your larger JCPenney. The home entertainment system that never gets old. Plug in a new video cart and change the fun. Play tic-tac-toe, shooting gallery, or just doodle. Switch video carts and play Desert Fox. Switch again, it's Blackjack. Or play the two built-in games, Pro Hockey or Tennis Champ. Channel F for fun. The Fairchild Video Entertainment And guys, this man made such an amazing and phenomenal contribution to the gaming industry. And the only reason why I know he exists is because I was doing research for this series. And honestly, that disgusts me. Guys, we're going to get into why after a word from our sponsors. How can you stand out with recycled templates? A website that looks great on any device stands out and commands attention. If you're serious about scaling your business, then that DIY template is not going to get you to the next level. Everyone making six plus figures is using a custom web design based on strategic goals. If you're ready to build a custom web design that looks great on any device, then meet with us for a free, no obligation consultation. There we will discuss your business goals and how we can help. Get started today at AccuFigures.com. You'll be glad you did. The reason why I'm so disgusted about the fact that I didn't even hear about this man or know he existed until I did the research for this series is because he pioneered this industry, which means I should be hearing about him just as much as I hear about the other technological greats that are no longer with us. And not only that, they were crammed down our throats on a consistent basis while they were still here. And to add insult to injury, people have made billions of dollars off of his business model, and he hasn't even got so much as a, a clap. While I was doing research for this series, I went out to see if anyone had given him any awards or anything I could find online of that nature to present to you guys in this video, and I could not find anything. I found, well, I take that back. While I was doing my research, I did see in one of my sources where they were mentioning that he had been honored, he had received an honorary award from one of the um, agencies. However, when I went out to the site, to look for that particular award and to see what the write-up was about it, it wasn't there. So I'm going to show them the same respect that they showed him. 
and I'm not going to mention who they are. While Mr. Lawson was at Fairchild, not only did he invent the Channel F console, he also invented the Demolition Derby arcade game. It's because of this man that we were all able to enjoy the wonderful experience of playing Nintendo and Atari and PlayStation and Xbox and all those other wonderful gaming consoles that we have played throughout the years where we were able to inject and eject our games. Take a look at a snippet of what this console looked like and a little bit of gameplay. 1999 is about $20 in the US back then. So with inflation, that's, that's you know, about 40 something odd dollars. Uh, and it plugs in nice like that. So let's check out some gameplay. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, so the first game we're gonna check out is um, the hockey game. It could be Unfortunately, Mr. Lawson passed in 2011 due to complications from diabetes. Not only was he a pioneer, he was also brave enough to step up and speak out against the mistreatment that he was receiving as an engineer in an all-white Silicon Valley. For his contributions, I believe Mr. Lawson deserves his own special day that we all celebrate every year, specifically in the gaming community. Were they attempting to sweep Mr. Lawson's legacy under the rug? The only reason why I pose this question is because the only information I could find on him during my research was after he died. Write-ups about how he was a good person and how he did this thing. But none of these articles were dated back when he was alive. We all need to understand and learn from this, that this behavior is wrong and that Mr. Lawson's legacy should not be relegated to Black History Month when people want to do series and talk about who he was. He should be celebrated up front, out loud, and boldly every year, just like the others. We all need to learn from this and treat our African-American tech superstars much better. Mr. Lawson deserves to be mentioned and remembered just as much as the others, if not more so. Today, I'd like to invite you to take our Business Growth Tactics Challenge. This challenge helps consultants, service providers, and e-commerce store owners position their business to scale. There are no hacks or cheat codes, just proven straightforward methods that work. Join us as we give you the clarity that you need to take your business to the next level. Check out the link in the description section to get started. You'll be glad you did. And as always, thanks for watching. If you got value from this, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.